Okay, so you'll get your fold scope, a little bag, you can unzip it. Like I said before, there's a pair of tweezers that'll be handy for our slide preparation later. Um, there's also a tiny little Q-tip. This is for cleaning the lens, which I'll explain later. And uh, put that to one side. Um, there's a tiny bubble wrapped bag, and this is the lens coupler assembly. So this is where your actual ball lens lives, uh, and they're kind of, I'll go through those in a minute. It's also a tiny little hand pipette for taking out tiny drops of our algal um, solution and uh, dropping that on the slide so we can view the algae under the microscope later. Um, you also get a quite a nice piece of artwork um, by the Foldscope people of the different organisms that you might come be able to see with the um, Foldscope. Uh, the Euglena is, are not actually on here, I don't think so. No, but there's many other uh, organisms that you'll be able to see with the kind of the, the way that the, the lens works. These are the sort of organisms you'll be able to see from nematode worms, another famous model organism, to tardigrades, uh, which are quite exotic things. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any tardigrades for you, but maybe that's another project. Anyway, so there's a little bit of artwork there. So if we just take those out for now, I'm going to put them out of sight. I'm going to put our example slide, our reference slide, out of sight. You'll also see some stickers here. Uh, these are important for uh, attaching the microscope to your phone so you can capture images on your phone and share them with the group. Uh, and there's also sticker cover slips for slide preparation. Again, going back to those later on. So, the main thing is the instruction booklet. So this is a fold-out, uh, double-sided set of instructions. You want to start the assembly instructions on this side. And we'll work our way through them together now in this video. Okay. So um, all of these components here, uh, we have the lens stage, the um, sample stage where you can put your slides, uh, the panning stage, and this just this just allows you to move the sample around, and then the focus ramp, um, which is we'll go into in a moment. Um, but all of these components all pop out of the other piece of card here, this big cardboard net. So uh, this kind of cardboard is um, it's very specifically designed. It's really resilient. So you can be quite um, vigorous in the way that you pop out the different components. Don't worry too much, the card can take it. It's really um, stretchy and it maintains its shape. So don't be too afraid when you're popping all these elements out. Okay, so for example, your lens sage, your focus ramp, you just pull that out of the net. Don't worry too much keeps up everything and I mean don't be too um, rough with it and you eventually end up with uh, a completed uh, set of components. So I've done that um, section earlier so um, what you'll end up with uh, once you've taken all the components out, let's put this to one side. You'll end up with your lens stage here, and when you're looking at your instructions, which you know do follow the instructions as well as following this video, uh, there's two sides to it, and you'll see the different patterns and coloration matters when you're assembling the lens couplers together. Okay, you'll end up with that. This is our thing to help us. Um, Move the sample around from left to right and up and down, uh, and then you'll end up with this uh, the the uh, actual sample stage, which which holds our slide together through these two slots in there. So let's just go through 
each of these components following their instructions. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is find your little bag of lens couplers and this your lens stage. So you open the bag up and you'll find three uh, metal bendy flexible uh, little grids. They've got this kind of perforated edge like film. It's a film strip so when, um, when these lenses are manufactured at uh, a matter large scale, I mean the Foldscope say they've, they've shipped well over a million of these uh, microscopes worldwide. Um, so to make that many um, lenses it's kind of manufactured on a, um, a strip of uh, metal tape um, which is like a taken from uh, mass manufacturing of PCBs and um, circuit boards and other kind of electronic things which they've used for this um, process so uh, you'll see that um, each one of them is magnetic in a certain way so you know Obviously, some things will repel each other, but the other way around, they'll snap together. So they will uh, jump onto each other if you're not careful. They're quite powerful magnets, and you'll see why they are later on. Uh, just be aware if you've got a laptop nearby where you're following instructions, which you know I do encourage you to do, just be careful you don't rest your uh, lens magnets on your laptop or in, near any sort of uh, memory devices. You don't want to accidentally corrupt any data with a strong magnetic field. Most modern laptops aren't bothered by that but just just something to be aware of. Um, if you look onto it each one is actually the same. So you've got a silver side, a black side, you know one side's perforated and the other one isn't and this is important when you orientate it correctly in the, in the assembly um, of the scope. You see they're the same except this one seems to have something else on it it's got like a tiny kind of bump on there and this is where the actual ball lens is embedded in there but if you're very careful you can, you can take that off and you'll see it's just the same as the other uh, couplers magnetic couplers except you'll see you know the silver side on silver side there's the lens just at the very point there that you can see um, and that's what does all the all the magic happens much like the original ball lenses of uh, the very first microscopes in the uh, 18th century 17th century um, we'll talk about that another time okay so there's your components so the first step is to place one of the couplers silver side up with the alignment holes, the perforated bit here, uh, to the right. So if you look on, make sure your uh, lens stage is this way up with the blue and the yellow at the bottom and the red stripes there. You can see some white perforated images on there and basically you want to slot that in and just tuck each corner underneath like that. Like so, yep. And then pop. The other ones are a little bit more tricky. You can bend the coupler and the card to fit. That's why I find you bend them both down, squeeze them in. So you end up with this. With each corner's tucked inside, the red hazard lines are kind of covered up. Um, and it's kind of secured nicely. Uh, with the silver, this silver part up. And again, that's just to make sure the right combination of couplers magnetically um, snap together and hold the slide in place. Okay, so that's one step done. Uh, the next thing you want to flip over. Now you've got the yellow and the red at the bottom. You want to take another coupler. This time, um, the alignment perforated holes on the left and you can see again those holes there's some markations that indicate you put those holes there uh, and once again 
you want to slide that in like you did before, tuck them into those holes, see, uh, and again do a little bit of bending to tuck those corners in. wiggle it around a little and what you'll end up with um, oh yeah and important to note that you want the silver side down so what you end up with is something like that so both couplers have the black side up silver side down if we turn over you now see they both have the silver sides up. okay the next step is to fold and lock uh, the bottom flap here okay and so you probably want to do a fold there first and you'll see that each of these tabs go into those slot three slots there so um, pop those in there again you have to sort of angle them in fold it a little bit It's not called origami microscope for nothing, there's a lot of folding. Uh, let's get that there. Okay, this can be tricky. There you go. So that's folded up and locked in place there. So you'll eventually, so now the coupler will have its silver side showing up because you bent it over and the silver side down. Okay, the next step uh, is inserting the lens into the actual um, lens stage. So um, here's our lens that we separated off earlier. Bear with me while I just double, triple check the instructions to, because this is the point you want to get this uh, correct, basically. Um, what you need to do is um, find one of the ring stickers. So go back to your bag and in your bag you'll find another bag inside the you know, mesh Foldscope bag. Inside the bag that says caution glass slide. You want to open that up. You want to find these ring stickers. And these are what we use um, to attach the lens but also to attach uh, the phone later on so this is what you need for that uh, so what you need to do is um, attach a ring sticker up here you can see there's a tiny little tab here actually this is your tweezers your sticker uh, and you want to stick that as in centrally as you can over there I'm actually going to take it off put it on again the stickiness just helps to kind of secure it in place Okay, and you'll see there's a tiny little tab there that are tweezers. You'd be able to just take the tab with the sticker fully stuck on, grab that tab either with your nail or with the tweezers, peel that off. Okay, so now that's quite sticky. You want to take your lens, flip it over because you want the um, bump side down. So with your all yellow side up, you stick her on this part of the um, uh, lens holder and you want to place this 
bump, that's the sort of nipple side down. That should go on there. Now the magnet, the magnet should secure it and then the sticker make sure it, the amount of magnetism make sure it goes in the right place and the sticker just secures it uh, and gives it an extra bit of stickiness so that the other magnets don't pull it off. Now to keep that clean you can use your little q-tip just give that lens a gentle little wipe and you can always come back to that if you keep that somewhere safe and clean maybe back in the in the little plastic bag might be an idea there we go. okay so that stage is done the next step is your uh, focus ramp which I assembled earlier comes out of the net um, it is actually possible to break off uh, parts of this so do be careful I do remember doing that before um, and this is this is quite a sort of strange slightly confusing thing but basically find all those perforated lines and you want to fold into them just to sort of this is quite a sort of unusual sort of item but basically you'll see once you've folded all these perforations there we go I mean you can take a little bit more care than I am because I don't want this video to go on for absolutely ever but um, make all those Perforations will work. That's something I could have done earlier. And then you want to sort of concertina them, and you'll see it'll make sense surely why. Okay, that's that one. Then let's get the other perforation. There. I mean, I don't have great hand dexterity so a lot of you big guys and you folks might be a lot more dexterous than me okay so I'm folding in all those perforations now they're folding in uh, and you'll sort of concertina them in until you end up with this shape and you'll see here You've got one end is flat and then the other end has built up that extra bit of space and basically what that does is it acts as a wedge. You can see there there's a sort of, um, they've kind of standardised and measured uh, the effect of that. Um, so as you push this um, focus ramp through this kind of aperture you're changing the distance between the slide and the lens and that's basically how the focus works. Uh, so more on that use a bit later on. Uh, so you need to put this into our lens stage. So we're now on point six in the instructions if you're following along. So let's pop that in there. goes in there and then it threads back through there so you'll end up with that little Z i.e. the up and down distance Z arrows pointing to those numbers there okay next step is take our sample stage so we move our things out of view for now put this to one side Here's our sample stage. Just check 
making a running still. Yeah, okay. So tuck these sections in. Sometimes it's good to flatten it down and use your nail to make sure the fold's quite secure. Do your fold along the perforation first, actually, it's quite a good tip. Like so, and that goes, tucks into that little slot there. Sometimes you need your finger to just encourage it to go in. Then on the other side, fold it back over. And it's a good idea to just use your nail to make that fold permanent and there's now a little way of tucking in a sample slide in that little gap and then the, the fold of these flaps just give it that sort of tension enough tension to hold the sample still that's the idea now you need to put this um, sample stage into the Panning guide, as it's actually called. Um, so flip it over to the yellow side. You want to slot it in, feed it through those slots there, so you get that effect. You can see that in the instructions as well. Uh, that slides through there, guide it through those newly folded yellow tabs, that takes a bit of guidance. Connect the two things together. Uh, so if you've done it correctly, when you flip this over, you'll see the X arrows point to some numbers there. Let's leave it at zero for now. And the Ys aren't showing anything yet, but you'll see once it's assembled, it'll make sense. What you need to do is Lens stage. Um, yeah, so what we need to do is place that like so. What you want to do is pull these bits forward so you can see the Y becomes visible over the numbers there. And another tab there, tuck that in there. Same on the other side, so snap that forward, snap that forward. And you'll see now that you can, holding it with two hands, your thumb on these two holes here, you see the registration point, and that sort of helps you grip it. And you can see I can move it up and down, the Y axis, and left and right on the x-axis. So if you are looking for a specific thing, you can say, oh, you know, 5y uh, minus 5x. So if you want to find a particular thing. But yeah, you can see the idea is that the um, sample is 
kept still there, next to close to the lens, depending on your focus ramp. Um, and you'll be able to move around while keeping that bit still. It will sort of make sense, surely. Uh, the next set, uh, stage is to uh, fold up the bottom of the lens stage. So again, the blue at the top and you know, at the bottom, this side up. You want to fold that down, that perforation down, the next perforation down. Fold that down. Fold this down. So when I say down, I mean down that way. Because this is going to down so but the last one you want to fold that up now turn ourselves to that last fold again up Everything else is folded down. Okay. Okay. So it should sit like this now. So when you fold, flip it over, it sort of sits a little bit like that. Now let's try and put our slide in. So go back to your little caution glass side bag. Make sure your hands are clean, by the way. I've cleaned my hands with alcohol before. Beware of the blank slide, which we're going to use for making our own samples later. And you just want to take this um, pre prepared slide um, here. And this is um, a section of um, uh, skin, I think. So we take that. And we place that into our um, sample. So have a look at the instructions about the kind of slide use. So we provide this kind of reference slide just to get you started quite quickly. Uh, there are also in the net these other kind of paper slides um, where you can stack a couple of these together and use the cover stickers to trap samples in those gaps and use paper slides, but um, we're not really going to do that. We're going to use the glass slides. Um, so to do that, you need to take your slide and you want to get it in here. So because you've just made it, you'll find it's a little bit tricky getting the slide in position. So you need to be a bit, take a bit of care so the reference slide, these are nicely rounded edges, so you're not really going to cut yourself on this one. But on our blank slides, some of them aren't the best, uh, aren't ground in the best way. So the edges are, are quite sharp, so just start off with this one. And you want this um, label side up. You can see where the, their permanent cover slip is over the top of the sample there. Uh, and you want that closest to the lens. So again, slide your sample in that little gap there. Just notch it through. And it's good to start with this reference slide because when you've made your own metal slides, you want to be careful that the, the silicon slab that you build on the, on the slide doesn't get pulled off. So you want to kind of get used to placing a slide in in this way. So let's push that in there. So now you'll see the slide is sort of close to the lens. Okay, so flip it back over. Make sure all the tabs are there. They can slip it off actually. Yeah, there are other tabs there. I forgot to bring them up too. Keeps it in position. Yeah, so make sure you've 
tucked those in as well and that keeps everything together. Okay, so now position your slide nicely in the middle. So remember the sticker side closest to the lens. Uh, so we'll, we can just peek through and see the sticker of the lens, the, the slide through there. And now if you take that, you let the this bit at the back, and that you'll see reason we fold it up is that that snaps to the lens. You've got space for light to come in but it also keeps the sample in a good position. So let's just get that position there. You can see if you hold it up to the light you'll be able to just see the sort of pink of the sample through the lens hole there and let that magnetically clamp on there. You can put an ID sticker to give you a fold scope specific ID. Um, the sticker's in there. But I'll just leave that for now. So now you should be able to hold this up to the light and you'll be able to see if I put my phone in. see the light of the phone. In fact if I put my torch on you can see the light through the lens there. So oops turn that off. Okay um, so we've got our slide now if you hold that up to the light, up to your eye, with your thumbs there, you should be able to see the sample. If you can't, you need to play with the, the focus ramp and I always like start off quite low, so right to the end. And hold that up to the light, up to your eye, see if you can see the sample. Sometimes it's best to check it's in position first and then try it from there. So I think I'll pause this video. Yeah, so you can't really see it here, but I've just successfully found the sample. I don't think it will show on this camera. But what I will do is show you how to, very quickly how to use the um, the phone with the fold scope. Okay, so people may have much better phones than mine, but the basic idea is that we find our stickers again that we use to stick the lens. Take them off. Tweezers does help. What you want to do is take the sticker and place it as centrally as you can around over the lens of your phone. So if you have a phone that's quite fancy and it's got more than one lens, um, oh, I've actually not brought the sticker with me there. It's never happened before. Hmm, okay. Ah, there you go. Yeah, so obviously you need to take care when removing that sticker. Make sure that when you peel off this bit, you bring the sticky thing with you. Okay, so we've lost the sticky thing. But what you need to do is just place it as centrally as you can over the lens. And if you've got a phone with multiple lenses, find the main one that would do your main lens. experiment with different lenses and stick that down there. Just sort of 
can use the tweezers to adhere it quite strongly to the lens. Uh, oh yeah, so this doesn't damage the lens in any way. Uh, obviously your tweezers might, so take care of doing that. Um, maybe fingers are better. Um, but you can peel this off again and quite easily just wipe wipe away any residue of the sticker, either with um, a bit of spit or alcohol or water, it'll easily. I've done this numerous times. These cracks are nothing to do with the fold scope, it's to do with me dropping my phone. Okay, so you've got that sticker on there. And what you want to do is take your remaining lens coupler. You've used two, there's one spare, and this is what this is for. What you want to do is you want silver side up. Uh, sorry, silver side down on the phone. So what you do is, so the way to check it is have your fold scope there. And see where the magnetism is. So... Right, so the black, the black is magnetised to the silver of the lens there. Okay, so what you want to do is you want the black up on your phone. And again, try and place that as centrally as you can over the lens and let that stick. So now, nicely stuck and the stickiness does wear off you do have to replace the sticker after a while but it works for a while so we'll just open up my phone and you'll see immediately because the the lens couplers stuck onto the around the lens it's not in focus because the lens is picking up the fact there's a frame around it um, but what you'll do is when you bring it close to the lens here so you get into focus and then magnetics snap it in place and there you go that's our sample oops I've lost it there it is and that's basically how you capture some images so I hope this helps in some way obviously in our sessions together we'll be able to look into any questions you might have choose try different techniques of focus you see there as I pushed it in it's gone out of focus so I'll pull your ramp out slightly and there we go you're in focus you can zoom in as well with your phone depending on how fancy it is um, mine's not very fancy and in fact you could see there that I have put a finger mark over my slide and that's why it's slightly out of focus on the middle there you go, that's a good, I think that's a good start. So when it comes off, slide it off. Make sure it sticks again. Maybe adjust your slide to a different position. And again, let that jump on. And there's your image. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you get started with um, the fold scope. Uh, I find using your phone it's like the most rewarding thing really because um, you can see it with the naked eye by holding up to the light but the phone means you can share it, it's a lot more social, you can zoom in, yeah it, 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 it becomes like a really nice little platform. If you've ever tried to take a photograph from an actual uh, standard microscope with a phone it's quite difficult, it's actually easier to do it this way. So. Uh, enjoy playing with your different samples.